name is Xanthor. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch me today. We are back with more Demon Slayer. We are watching season two, episode two. So we are on the Mugan train arc. We are now on the train. And as far as I'm aware, now we just kind of are splitting and adapting up the movie into these episodes. So not a heck of a lot's going to be different. Um, like I said last week, up until we get to like new content or at least there's an episode that I find is different enough that it should be edited down. I will edit it down but for now we're going to do timer reactions so make sure you have your country roll account and sync it up baby. All right starting the episode in three two one go. Choo -choo. Well, I'm excited for this because I really, yes. <laughs> oh, no, Ske. This is, I wish I almost would have watched the movie again because I definitely would like to like be able to be like, oh, that's different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Rengoku. You're amazing. Bro, I wish I could chug food like that. Are you're not even chewing your food, you're swallowing if you're saying delicious that quickly. Oh, whoa. We get a train opening? What? That's so cool. Wait, what? Yeah, because that was at the beginning of the movie when he talked about the gravestones. So, okay. That's so cool. We get an opening still. I didn't think we would actually get, like, an opening sequence for the train arc. Aww. That's cool. Hmm. Aww, that was a cute shot! His little smile, he's so proud! Aww. Hmm. Interesting. I'm trying to make this as spoiler-free as possible for those who maybe have not seen the movie. So I'm trying my best. I promise I won't spoil anything too bad. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> In Osuke, please. That's very respectful, honestly. I think I said the same thing last time <laughs> when I watched the movie. Hmm. 
Yeah, please don't break the glass. I don't know what kind of weather it is, but it'd probably just be cold. And we have to pay for it. <laughs> what about your father? <laughs> I'm so glad I get to rewatch this. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. End of discussion. <laughs> I love how he just like says it like no good solution. Just like become my apprentice. It's like, oh. It's black. It means I'm going to die. Ah! Ooh! Hmm. I love this show. It's very good at having serious moments, but these very humorous, almost manic times as well. It's very enjoyable. It's the one thing I do miss when I don't get to watch this show. Oh, he knows, gay. You will lose. Probably. How are we not disturbing the other passengers? I just realized. Oh, Zenitsu. Sweet, sweet Zenitsu. <laughs> so how far are we going to get in this episode? I'm curious.
<laughs> it is terrifying, honestly. Like, I don't know what I would do if I saw something like that in real life. I'd be a hot mess, for sure. Maybe just a mess. God, that's so cool. I'm glad I get to re-admire this movie all over again, because it is lovely. God, that's cool. And especially for the movie, this is when we first got to see his ability because we didn't have that first episode. So it's really nice just to get immediately introduced to this character and just how powerful Rengoku is. It's amazing. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that was new, correct? That was a new scene. I don't remember that. Because I was left with this odd feeling of like, are they... Ma -ma -ma? I, I guess it's a little bit of a spoiler. So maybe I won't say that. And I guess they still could be. I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Noise save. Noise save. And that's why you're a Hashira. God, that's so cool. Scorching sun. Ours is just water wheel, right? That's our equivalent to that water wheel. Well, that was easy. <laughs> oh. It's so silly. So, okay, can we get some more clarification from this point? Because this is where I got a little confused to know. Yeah. Because we're... Did we just go back here and fall asleep? Or was that whole sequence a dream? Especially Rengoku's dream. Yeah, and put them to sleep. So, when did they fall asleep is my question. Like, were those demons actually there? On the train or not? 
that's where I'm left with some confusion. I still don't know. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, are we going to actually see? We're going to go into this? That's cool. Okay. I didn't know how far we get. God, I love the music. Oh. Oh, I love that transition. It's so good where he just falls into this dream. I love it. It's such a smooth transition that honestly, it'd be for someone who like maybe hasn't seen the show in a while. It'd be very easy just to be like, yeah. And it's like, oh, wait, that's not what our boy looks like right now. Like last work. Yung. Roku. Nana. <laughs>
No mám. <laughs> oh, this is, I still think, so sweet. It'd be very hard to leave ever just because. Okay. That's where we're stopping? Yes. Oh, and a train? Yeah, and a train. Outro. Wow. I didn't think we would get an opening and an outro for train. I'm just very surprised. You really shouldn't walk on train tracks. Just saying. Aww, those are cute. Aww. Aww. Yeah, y'all's families are a little different. God, that's cool. Sh God, I love these shots. They're very cool. Like, they'll, those, all of those are like wallpaper, like dynamic wallpaper worthy. They're so cool. Oh. Song is done. Do we have a ending thing? Yes, of course we do. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. All right. So, you know, we're just following along the story of uh Mugen Train. So, it's nothing like crazy different, but it is nice, especially because it's a good refresher. I know I said, like, oh, I wish I saw the movie so I could see if there's things different or not, blah, blah, blah. But at the same time, I'm glad I didn't because I'm basically re-watching the movie anyways. Which, I will say, at the end of the day, I do enjoy that they're adapting this and making it a part of it. Just because I know people think some movies are not canon or they don't get around to watching it. But it does feel a little weird since um, the Demon Slayer movie did really well. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't it the number one grossing anime movie now? At least in Japan, as far as I'm aware. So there is something a little bit weird, the fact that they did adapt it, since a lot of people saw the movie. So you probably don't need to do this since, you know, people saw it. <laughs> Like, I get it for maybe some other smaller movie, like, anime movies, but so many people saw this. So, it is a little weird. I am enjoying it, though, but it's just a little odd. 
But overall, I'm really liking getting to re-experience uh, Rengoku's character. Um, all the Inosuke moments with the train are constantly hilarious to me. Um, I know there are some people who don't particularly care for like uh, Zenitsu just because he is a one note character, but I actually really enjoy him. I'm going to be honest. I think after getting to know the character, understanding he was a one note character, I kind of just finally embraced it where it's like, okay, so we know he's always going to fawn over Nesco. He's always going to be scared. He'll come in and save the day when he falls asleep and passes out. Yada, yada, yada. Like, I get it, and I can accept it. But there's some people who get annoyed at those characters and just like, oh, great, he's gonna do this. And, and you know, that's that's totally up to opinions. Um, I think having those really cool moments with Zenitsu are always powerful and add a lot of hype, but I get that it comes with a lot of, like, Hitting those notes every time. So, I get it, I get it. But, thankfully, we get to spend time with Rengoku. And we get to see Tanjiro's family, which is kind of wild to me. Since they're dead. It's nice, because in episode one of Demon Slayer, we didn't really get to see his family much. Especially because he was off getting a... Selling charcoal that night, I believe that's what he's doing. So he wasn't home with his family, so we didn't get a lot of them. We spent maybe five minutes with them, and then he was gone. So it is very cute and adorable to see just how loving and compassionate this family was. Of course, yes, we don't have dad, but we get to see all of his um, siblings, younger siblings. And it's very heartwarming. I... I kind of hope that maybe we get a few extra scenes with them. I don't know if we will. I kind of doubt it. We do get a lot with the family. But I would like some extra scenes with them would be very much appreciated. Because I feel like we could kind of hammer in those a little bit. Since it is such a emotional moment. Because we literally see Tanjiro and the siblings even say like, Yeah, Big Bro was crying. <laughs> like just bawling. And it's like, yeah, if you hadn't seen your family who was dead in a long time, you'd probably cry too. Like, all of your son, your siblings, and your mom just suddenly back in front of you. And it's this surreal moment of just emotions exploding. So it's it's just adorable. So, and of course, I have to talk about that transition again. I know I talked about it in the movie. I'm going to talk about it again here. Um, seeing that he's still in his corpse outfit... And then once he goes to go hug his siblings and pulls out, he's back into the old kind of like uh, hairstyle, the scars, back to how it once looked. And he's back into just his kind of like regular um, family um, attire. And that's really cool. It's so seamlessly done. Um, I don't think it calls too much attention but yet still, like, calls your attention. Because as we're just looking for the black and green square checkered pattern, it's still there, but it's different. And so if you're not quite paying attention, you may not notice it right away that he is no longer in his corpse uniform, that he has kind of basically fallen into the dream. So I think that's really interesting and helps us understand more the... um the uh, demon saying, like, you know, be careful, some um, will, some demon slayers will wake up if they sense a demon presence, don't touch them, they need to fall into the dream more. And we literally see him fall into that dream where he's just like, yep, I'm I'm back into this now. This is, I, I, I'm caught in, I'm invested, I'm believing, I'm letting myself be assimilated into this. So, very, very interesting, very cool I'm hopeful that we can, I, I, what was it? Is this supposed to be six episodes on train or is it longer? I don't remember. If you know, tell me in the comments because I can't quite remember, but we're going to get through the movie, obviously, and I, crossing my fingers that we will kind of just 
smooth transition into the next arc. I don't know how well we will, but it would be nice to see that since, you know, when the movie ends, it ends. So I'm curious to pick that up. Uh, no spoilers for the movie, obviously, but I am curious to see how we move forward with everything. Um, What else? Um, Oh, the scene where we meet Rengoku and he has the bento boxes does mean a bit more to me now. Like, before it's just like, aha, uh -huh, he's just kooky. Like, what a great way to introduce him. Very fun. And, like, we still introduce him the same way in our new episode one. But there's something more heartwarming about seeing him eat those bentos that he bought and knowing where the bentos came from. It just makes it a little more heartwarming. And a little bit more touching that he's just like, delicious. They're delicious. Because it's from the little girl and her grandma. So it's just kind of cute. So it, it made the scene just kind of touch a little more. Not like drastic, but like just enough to make me understand and feel more part of this world than him just dousing himself some bento boxes. There's at least some reason behind why he had... So many bento boxes. <laughs> so it was really fun. Um, I don't really think I have too much else to talk about. Like I said, I've talked a lot about this from watching the first movie. So I, I feel like I'm retreading a lot of ground if I'm going into every little detail. So yeah, Meh, you know, I think my, um, my biggest question still kind of remains is when did they fall asleep? And that's where I get confused. Did they fall asleep as soon as their ticket was punched? Or did they fall asleep after fighting the demons? Because just the goofy way they're acting, it makes me think that that was their combined dream or something. Or was it just Rengoku's dream? I think someone, like, explained this to me at one point. But I'm, like, blanking on what this was. <laughs> so, yeah. I just don't know when they fell asleep. Was it as soon as their tickets were punched? Or after the fight? Or I don't think anywhere in between. Because now with the people being in the back of the car and then disappearing. Makes me think it could be one or the other. Not sure. <laughs> But overall, good time, good stuff. Um, thank you guys so much. And thank you for being patient and watching the timer reactions. This is how I usually do them over on Patreon as well. So if you really enjoyed this and liked not having to see me cut things out because of copyright, um, you can go to my Patreon and get access to the timer reactions over there. So very fun. Had a great time. Hope you guys did as well. And I'll see you all later.